We're back. Good Friday morning, lads. I'm Abby Ragsdale. And I'm Elijah Clark, and this is your KWHS News. College visits resumed this week. If you completed your application with PPCC yesterday, remember they will be back on April 26th to help you select classes for the fall semester. Be sure to get your hall passes from the Counseling Center to attend these college visits. And while you're there, check out other important college-related information, such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. Attention all students, the library needs its books back. If you have overdue books, please return them to the library ASAP to avoid being put on conditions. The end is near. The last day to check out books is April 27th. Not sure if you have any other outstanding conditions or fees? Check Infinite Campus. Seniors, this is especially important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees by April 25th to ensure you receive your diploma in May. Return your books to the library before or after school and pay your fees in the business office. Hey seniors, graduation is about 30 school days away and the senior class would like to include your photos in the graduation slideshow. Get them in early to Benny Trujillo at his email, trujilloben2 at wsd3.org. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Remember, last minute submissions may not be included. The madness from March ended yesterday in the library. Listen to the announcements this afternoon for the grand prize winners of the Widefield Gear and Chick-fil-A gift cards. Attention all students, the yearbook staff wants you to buy a yearbook while they're still only $65. Go to yearbookforever.com or the business office to buy yours now before the price goes up. Hey Abby, what's your favorite kind of pie? My favorite kind of pie is the kind I can smush in someone's face. Then you're in luck. Glad's the Environmental Club is having a pie smushing contest this month to celebrate Earth Day and help save the trees. For only $1, you can buy a ticket from, for the opportunity to have Mr. Elhofer, Mr. Cummings, Deputy Stevens, or Mr. Southworth wear a pie for Earth Day. Buy your tickets now until April 14th from any Environmental Club member or go to room 204. Remember, the Earth Day Festival will be on April 21st. And speaking of pie, hey Abby, I heard Miss Betsy is making a great lunch for us today. Want to know what it is? I sure do. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Friday everybody. Not too many weeks to go. Today we're having pork roast with mashed potatoes and gravy. Come on down and see us. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your accounts. Attention seniors, if you are taking credit recovery, you must complete your course by today, April 7th. The next credit recovery courses begin in June. Now here's Dylan Ham with your sports update. Hey Glads, we made it to Friday. I'm Dylan Ham, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Attention all current and prospective volleyball players. Volleyball open gyms for all volleyball players not involved in spring sports. Started Wednesday and will continue on Wednesdays from 3 to 5 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Get ready to bump, set, and spike your way through next year's season. Open gym for basketball started yesterday from 6 to 8 p.m. in Bowers Gym. If you are interested in playing basketball next year, Join us to refine your skills for the big show next year. The dodgeball tournament kicked off this week. Games are being played at lunch in the small gym and admission is just $1. All proceeds go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You can also buy a wish star for a dollar to go on the wish wall. Come see who wins it all. The Cops vs. Kids charity basketball game is scheduled for Friday, April 14th. The games will start at 5.30 in Bowers Gym when the 8th graders take on their teachers. At 7 p.m., a high school team of WHS and Mesa students take on the cops. This is a charity event, and t entry tickets are $2. But wait, there's more. Each entry ticket gets a raffle ticket for prizes. If you want more raffle tickets, those will be available for $2 each, or 15 tickets for $20. See Deputy Stevens for additional information. Here's some scores from last night's sports. The ladies' tennis team took on the Marauders yesterday and stole the win. The ladies' tennis team is in Pueblo today and tomorrow for a tournament against Pueblo County. If you could make it out there to support them, they'd appreciate it. Our ladies' varsity soccer team took on the Sierra Stallions on Thursday and scored for the big win. Our ladies' soccer team kicks up their game again on Saturday against Falcon at 10 a.m. in Falcon. Finally, our varsity baseball team is off to a slow start this year with a 2-8 and eight record, but the real game started this week. The Glads took their bats on the road to play Elizabeth High School on Thursday but dropped another game. The Glads are back on the diamond on Big Blue to come this coming Tuesday against TCA at 4 p.m. Our varsity track team is at the John Tate Challenge Cup in Pueblo at Dutch Clark Stadium this weekend. Good luck to all our sports teams this weekend. We'll have scores for you on Monday. Have a great weekend. I'm Dylan Ham. Back to you, Abby and Elijah. Thanks, Dylan. Juniors and seniors, the prom is a few short weeks away. Blast from the Past is on April 22nd at the Doubletree Hotel. 
Dinner starts at 6.30 p.m. and the dance goes to midnight. Remember your guest passes are due Friday, April 14th. Prom tickets are currently $50 and the last day to buy them is April 18th. Remember, you cannot buy tickets at the door, so be sure to stop by the business office to get your tickets now. Be there or be square. Ladies, if you haven't made your appointment to check out the free dresses available from Becca's Closet, you need to do so quickly before the best choices are gone. Contact Ms. Molina in room 111 or Ms. HK in the library to make your appointments. Remember, the dress is yours to keep. Glad, if you're asking to someone to prom and you would like a picture of your prom proposal to be in the yearbook, see Sierra Perea or Kiana Dooley at lunch in room 104. Glad, the entrepreneur class needs your plastic water bottles for their project challenge. Save your water bottles of all sizes and bring them to lab 159. Thank you in advance. Attention NHS members, you have a meeting today at lunch in the library. You will be discussing graduation and elections, so please be here and be on time. And finally, GLADS, April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and here's a short video to remind us about being safer drivers. Behind here? At the lunch table? Not the makeout corner. Behind this locker? Not during class, but I'm going to the bathroom. 1.6 million car crashes each year occur. 26% of all crashes involve texting. There are 11 teenagers who die each day from texting while driving. You wouldn't do it in any of those places. Don't do it behind the wheel. Remember, it's not just technology distracting us from driving safely. It's also chatty friends, stressful days, or loud music. Please put safety first and just drive. That's all we have for today. We really appreciate your attention. Have a great weekend. I'm Abby Ragsdale. And I'm Elijah Clark, and this was your KWHS News.